Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how we can draw this strawberry. So in this tutorial we will learn how you can you know uh, create these detailings at macro level. Like I have used macro lens to uh, show you the detailing and how you can perfectly create these uh, reflections. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. So first of all, we are going to draw the basic shape of the strawberry. So for the startup, we divided the page into two parts. Remember, uh, this drawing is going to be all about the measurements. See how I'm uh, creating lines. See, I gave a slanting line like in a certain angle and then I created equal portions on both sides. And then I'm drawing the leaves. I'll be following the same thing to draw the uh, reflection at the bottom part. This in this drawing, the measurements are very important. See how I'm taking my time and I'm creating those uh, you know uh, perfect uh, shapes, so that uh, after the drawing is finished, if somehow even if you give proper detailing in every way suppose the bottom portion doesn't look like a reflection it will take out the entire realism out of the drawing so see how i'm taking the measurements and i'm taking my time and then i'm creating the complete shape although the actual shape of a strawberry is uh, not very difficult but in this case when there is a reflection you have to take time and make sure it is an exact replica of the other so in case of a mirror image like uh, when there is a reflection there will always be a top part and the bottom part so we created the top part and accordingly with measurements i created the bottom parts to match the top part okay so now here i am giving medium yellow as base because when i'll be scratching out the top layer the you know the patterns or the designs on the body of a strawberry has yellow in it that's why i am giving the first layer as yellow and this is of medium yellow in this drawing i have uh, kept the speed moderately low so you will be able to see the detailing very nicely to so see now i'm applying orange but at some places the orange is dark and at some places the orange is light i reduce the pressure out there intentionally so the light is falling will fall on the strawberry so at some portion it will create reflection but at some areas it will just fade out the color of strawberry which will in itself act as a reflection which we have to achieve through shading so suppose the reflection is coming from the northwest side and hitting the top portion of the strawberry so there i made the orange of lighter tone and then i increased the tone of orange as we are moving away from that area same thing on the mirror image always remember the top portion uh, will be reflected right at the bottom okay so the close portion will be close and the further end will be at the further end okay this is the theory of a mirror image so now i'm applying red i'm covering most of the areas with red because uh, there will be a gradient of red okay so see i covered the uh, area with red here i have used the oil pastel heating technique again i'm uh, you know blending out with the q-tips so in case you don't know what the oil pastel heating technique is i will be giving the link in the i button 
there you can check out the full tutorial on it so the overview would be that you have to heat the oil pastel a little bit I used candle to do it here I'm giving orange again so I use candle to do it and then I just blow over it and then I apply the color it makes the color a bit softer and that's why you are able to create layers of color one over the another I'm using Dom soil pastel out here which is moderately soft but heating makes it softer and I'm able to, and I feel it works in a better way so if you use any other oil pastel which is uh, softer in nature you might not even need to hit it okay the main thing is you have to blend out the colors properly so that you get the shading like the gradation okay so now the red portion is done some more red and remember this theory the in a mirror image the close one of the object and the reflection will be uh, you know the close will uh, uh, will be closer and the opposite further ends will be at the further ends okay so here I'm using dark yellow and some light green we don't have to worry too much about uh, the uh, you know uh, the shapes because we are using black out here again so we will you know rectify anything which goes out so see there I gave the red but I left out some of the yellow even after taking all the measurements I finally realized that there will be some gap in between the uh, object and the reflection that's why I gave the red out there and then I covered that portion with black so now I'm using my Stadler 8B extra dark pencil to give the final shape of the strawberry now the object and the reflections okay the object will have reflections okay and shadows almost the same kind of reflection will be uh, uh, the shading will be there in the reflected portion as well but in a darker tone suppose the object is kept on a black glass because of which the reflection is happening so the reflection will have a darker tone than the object in here the top strawberry will have a less darker tone than the bottom one the bottom one will be of much more darker tone so see in this black also when I'm applying at some places I have kept the pressure high at some places I kept the pressure moderate to low so that after blending I get two tones of black and now to blend out those areas I am using red again so that I get a darker version of red so this is the technique like uh, if you want to get a darker version of red if it's in a you know brownish dark then you add red and then brown and then again red that will give you the color and if it's a blackish tone kind of a thing then you would use black so I'm using red now to blend out those areas to get a darker version of red and I'm see I'm slowly creating that graduation like where the reflection is hitting uh, the sorry the light is hitting so the area where the light is hitting should have a lighter tone so see how I'm maintaining that tone And see how I'm creating a darker gradient in the bottom portion now see I'm doing the 
details on it okay so I'm using my white pencil out here glass marking pencil uh, remember one thing the pencil is not leaving any mark out there it is just taking away the top portion and exposing the yellow underneath as well as the orange underneath depending on the pressure it is giving a blended look and that's why it I'm using the pencil if sharp lines would have been necessary then I used I would have used you know an empty pen or a pen knife things like those so see here I am doing the detailings like small structures like oval structures so look closely now how the detailing happens this is the macro lens view of the drawing this is how the shading is and see how I am taking away the top layers okay where wherever I am using uh, excess pressure I am getting more yellow and wherever I am decreasing the pressure I am getting that uh, blended orange kind of a thing okay so see see here I am using very light pressure in this area particularly because this area is in the dark zone so it shouldn't have you know dark uh, yellow or uh, yellow uh, sprouting through it like a uh, blasting through, uh, through it it should have a darker tone that's why I use light pressure to take away little bit of the top layer so that little bit of yellow is visible but with that most of the red and orange is visible that's the objective that's how I varied my pressure this is how I kept in mind but remember another thing now that you are making the pattern out here the same pattern has to go in the reflection area and it is very tough like you might think like how you can copy exactly the patterns that you are making on the top portion exactly same as the bottom portion that is very difficult and we will not follow that remember the reflection at the bottom part is all is similar to the top portion but not exactly at some places the light will reach at some places the glass might be dark at some places the black might be dark which will affect the realism in a way so to counteract that and to you know uh, be at par with that what I did when I created the patterns first of all see I used some little bit of black I gave little bit of you know black circles around those yellow portions okay to give that shadow thing and now I'm just making some of the yellows little bit more brighter and then I'm using some little bit of black around those things as well around those detailing as well so to do that uh, to get a you know perfect kind of a reflection what I did I marked those bright yellows in specific areas the bright the wherever I used lot of pressure and exposed the bottom layer I used a particular pattern like I placed them at particular places okay so here I am using a uh, light green and then now I am using some sap green just, uh, just concentrate on this and then I will come back to it I used some uh, dark yellow again some dark green again white pencil to sharpen those edges and some black very simple you don't have to you know mix and match or go with the I you know imagine a lot of things these are the basic colors you have to just place them at the right right place
so here i face little bit of difficulty because the oil pastel kept on breaking out there i used a little bit of brown some white with the white pen and some detailing with the black and see here i'm using a little bit of black more and then i'm blending out to give that more darkish effect so the top portion is done so now i said that i place the dark yellow dots at specific places so what happens is that the bright things whatever is bright in an object will attract your attention more okay and those uh, areas which are dim or which are not very bright it will not attract so much attention and then you can just get away with it okay so that's how i do the detailing that's how i achieve the reflections perfectly what i did out here is i placed those uh, you know dark yellow dots at specific places so that i can replicate just those in the reflection what that will do is that it will get your attention on those bright areas and it will and since they match the top portion of the object it will look like the reflection has the same kind of detailing as the objects and with the lighter toned yellow dots you can just play with them you can uh, you know keep the density same at the places these are some of the tricks which are, which you can use to work on the detailing to get on the reflections this is how you can get away with it so i'm using some uh, white gel pen to place some reflection of light and here i'm putting some more now to counteract that i'm using some dark yellow and here i'm using some red so that the reflection is a little bit of a yellowish on the top and little bit of reddish at the bottom and now here i am putting some more reflection similar to the top portion as soon as i do that the reflection will look 90% similar to the object and our job is done we will give some final touches out here okay like some more uh, black some little bit of red wherever is necessary wherever you feel like after that is done so friends if you stay till the end thanks a lot it helps a lot if you like the video if you like the tutorial please give this a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification cuz i upload new videos every week so we'll meet again in the next tutorial until next time goodbye